You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the Rachel LaFour Show, or welcome to the Rachel LaFour Show. This could be your first time, and if so, what a treat. What a treat for you and for me. I'm Rachel LaFour. This is my show. Uh, This is a spiritual podcast from me, a comedian, because healing is hilarious, and I feel like we don't talk about it enough. Um, I, where are we? It's the end of July, uh, June. It's the end of June. What? What? Friends, I feel like June, every month it's just gotten like boom, 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 boom. And I, you know, if we go back and we listen to the beginning of June, I said June and July are really offering us this beautiful like respite, but also like just – kind of this bridge. I'm going to close my eyes for a second. If this is your first time watching. Uh, I don't close my eyes because I'm tired of doing this. Uh, I close my eyes because uh, I'm super ADD and I take in a lot of uh, input. So when I close my eyes, it makes it easier uh, to be able to focus. So I feel like these these summer months were really offering us, which now I really believe summer always does, is this beautiful bridge between all of this work that we've been doing and who it is that we're really becoming. This is this time for true embodiment because you have these like long summer days and these cool summer nights. Now I know I'm talking specifically maybe where you are. It is not summer, but I feel like the energy is still the same of this. It's not even so much a transition. It's just like, can you enjoy it? Can you enjoy the things that you have been moving through, doing, breaking down, letting go of, like so much of the top of this year has really been a lot of heavy lifting and moving and just all of the things that are so specific to all of us and also so the same. Like we're so the same, you know what I mean? Um, (laughs) But it's true where I just – I have a sense of gratitude for myself and and I'm going to trust that that correlates with you and and speaks to you and resonates with you, which is like, just be like proud of yourself. Can you just be proud of yourself? Like I even posted uh, today, um, obviously when this comes out, it's not the day that I recorded it, but I had posted in my uh, stories on Instagram, something like, um, you know, in your strive for perfection, in your aim for perfection, you've missed out on the beauty of being human. And I feel like in my personal life and in my career recently, I've taken a lot of big swings and some of them have been a swing and a miss. Okay. We've really lobbed a few balls here recently, but there's also kind of been this like relief of failing big and then being like, Oh, I'm like, fine. Like, I'm okay. And, you know, that some of the really big things that I'm manifesting, that we're manifesting, that we're working through are not quite here yet. But this energy is really calling us to like, just like be here now, you know? And this true sense of presence, I feel like that's one of the most beautiful things about warm weather is you can't really avoid being in the present because your body is actually responding to like, oof, I'm hot or, oh, I need water. Oh, I need to sit down. There's this true presence that happens that you can't quite negate or get away from. And so there's something really beautiful 
about that that I feel like is happening for all of us in different ways of like, I don't know, there's some Instagram TikTok quote I'm sure you've seen that it was like, um, I'm going to be, I'm butchering it, but you guys have seen it, you know, the memes where it was like, I'm going to be with this version of me because I'll never have her again, you know. Um, but that's so true of, I feel like really what this time is asking us to do is to let go of striving. That there, there's actually an easier way to evolve. There's an easier way to get to where you're going. And I really need you to hear that. There's an easier way to get to where you're going. Because many of us, it's this, even sometimes that we're guilty of it in our healing process of like, okay, yeah, but once I get this thing, like then I will have achieved, then I will have healed, then I will have, like it's still about accomplishment. I know I'm guilty of that. Frankly, I could get a gold medal, okay? <laughs> Humble brag. Uh, but there, yeah, it's like when you allow yourself to just be human, right? You guys know my big thing is like only new mistakes. And I've made a lot of new mistakes recently. And lived through all of them. And this feeling of like, Oh, if I make a big mistake or if I slow down or if I, you know, if I don't get new followers or if I don't, if this business doesn't work out or if I don't get this audition or if I don't, I'm sure whatever those are for you. Oh, if I don't get this third date, if I don't get this thing, if I don't show up to this thing, like all of those fears that you have that feel real because we have a society that's that's all built around like once you look this way, then your life will be complete. Once you make this much money, then your life will be complete. Once you hit this milestone, then your life will be complete. And the matrix is realizing that that's not real. And many of us are already at that place where we know that that's not real, but it's still releasing all of that conditioning to really embody slow evolution and to embody the understanding and the knowing that you are worthy and that you're powerful no matter what stage of the metaphorical game you're in. You know, like so many of us, it's like, oh, I just see people all the time. They're like, I just want to meet the person I'm supposed to be with. I just want to meet the person I'm supposed to be with. And I understand. I've been lonely before. I don't want to, you know, as like a happily married person being like, it's fine. You can wait. Like I, you know, I want to really acknowledge like the, the pain and the longing for sharing your life with someone. That's really real. And also the acknowledgement of once you have that and the rest of it has died off and you've done the wedding and you've done the honeymoon and then you've even done the babies. It's like, then you're just left with another person that hopefully you love enough, you chose wisely enough that you want to continue to grow and evolve with them. But ultimately, I mean, that's one of the most beautiful thing about us as humans, which is our ability to adapt. So we both can adapt to shitty patterns, self-sabotage. There's all these negative things that we can adapt to that we stay in shit for too long because, you know, it's easy to blame ourselves, but the reality is like we just adapt really easily sometimes to those things. And then the other side of it is sometimes we adapt to things that we forget how fucking hard we work to have these things. And we're so quick to be like, next, next. We're obnoxious. Because we adapt so quickly to like, it's never enough. And so that's what I feel like this summer is offering us is like, can you just really get into bed with the things that are here, good and bad, because it's not forever and it's just a season, which is why a lot of my like energetic teachings and the things that I how I even perceive energy and read energy is always seasonal because it's always evolving. It's always changing. And we are so, that's why we say, right? Like the days are long and the years are short because 
we spend so much time in our heads or looking ahead that we're not just like being with like where we are and what we're doing. And I can only share this because I'm so guilty of it. And I feel like I'm in this place where my life feels so sweet. Like not overly sweet like a brownie or, you know, something like that, but just like like fresh fruit sweet. Like there's something about it that it's like it may not like, oh, I picked this when it was perfectly ripe. And our life is not always like that. And there's not always seasons like that. Now, that may not be entirely where you are, right? That season. But I think for a lot of us, it is. That doesn't mean that everything is going right. It simply means that it's like you have come through so much. And so many of us, it feels, we can choose to look at it of like, oh, I'm in this waiting room. What I want is outside of this waiting room and I'm just in this this place. And what a waste. What a waste to look at it like that. When instead we can observe it of like, wow, look at all of the things we have right now. And the opportunity that we have, and maybe some of us are still sitting with really heavy hearts and with grief and with uncertainty and what feels like lack or all of these things. But there's something that it wants to teach us and that we're not in this respite. We're not in this waiting room. We're not in this in-between to be punished or to not observe. It's like, this is such a beautiful opportunity to truly. Yeah. I've been talking about a lot. I think I talked about recently of like, just lock in it's here. And that is the slow evolution because the lie is Oh, if I work harder, if I work harder, if I work harder. And yes, you have to like work. You have to show up, right? If you want to meet the love of your life, you got to date. You got to put yourself out there. And some dates and sometimes, you know, or you think that you met somebody and then they ghost you or whatever. Like there's going to be so many things that you come up against. You knew that you were supposed to leave your job. You listened to this quietest part of you and you left and what you're starting up isn't working. And you're like, fuck, did I just make a huge mistake? I left a salary paid job to try to do this thing and it's not working, right? And it's like, yeah, we have to show up. We have to keep doing the work. That's part of it, right? Like all the things I'm moving through right now, like I, yeah, it's on me. Literally, I'm the boss. <laughs> like it doesn't get done if I don't show up. But on the other side of that is like, but it's gonna get done because I know myself and I trust myself and I trust where I'm going and we're gonna get it done. So I feel like the last thing I just want to leave you with is you're really building this sense of inner trust. Like we've been talking about trust in the universe, trust in your soul's plan, trust in the things bigger than you. But now I'm bringing it a little bit smaller of like, can you just trust yourself? Maybe you were like me and you self-betrayed for so long. You self-sabotaged for so long. You let everybody else walk over you because of what they needed. So, of course, you didn't build self-trust. You didn't build that sense of self-worth that, you know, some of you may love to say, like, main character energy, right, of, like, <laughs> whatever, like, hashtag era you're in right now, right? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But – what would it just be like? Because then you can let go of that. Like for me, at least personally, and I'm going to trust that this really resonates with you all. We are, it feels so heavy. You guys, we are really burning off that last bit of lack energy that I need you to see me energy that every single shot is the last shot. And if I don't do it right, then it's all going to fall apart. That's not true. Because when you trust in yourself and you know that you can do it because you trust in the universe and you know where you're going 
and you've trusted yourself enough to get to this point. You have let go of so many things you never thought you could let go of. And you have said yes to so many things you never thought possible. That if that evidence doesn't show you that it's time to trust yourself and we're in a new ball game now, I don't know what will. So the partner, the job, the paycheck, I'm letting you know right now, none of that is going to be the key because you are the key. It's that simple. But it also takes years for us to really get in that place of self-trust. So that when the bigger and bigger things come up, when those big conversations come up, what are we? What are we moving through? You don't back away. And you also don't show up to the conversation in this place of like, I need you to need me, right? You're not over talking in the group. You're not over sharing in the group. You're not, you know, like muscling your resume through. You're allowing that vibration of security to do the talking for you. Because we trust this person. Because you trust yourself. Cool? If you felt like this uh, episode resonates with you, I am so grateful. Please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can also jump over to my Substack. You can join for free, the Rachel Four Show on Substack. I would love to have you over there. Uh, you can also join Behind the Paywall for $9.99 a month. Um, also, I apologize. I'm a little under the weather. Uh, for $9.99 a month, you get bonus features every week. Uh, I really take this seriously. It's not like you're going to get kind of half-ass stuff. Uh, I really want you to know this is a place where I'm putting a lot of energy in. Um, and it's something I'm really wanting us to create a community together of people that see this uh, world similarly, that are on similar journeys, because often it feels very lonely. So I would really be honored to have you over in the Substack space. Uh, right now, uh, when we wrap this, I'm going to pull some cards tapping into this self-trust energy, the seasonal energy. Um, so you can jump over and you can hear that. There's also articles that I write each week, uh, mantras, journal prompts, all sorts of different stuff. I'm getting ready to go on a three-week vacation. I'll still slightly be working because that's the life. Uh, but more or less, it'll be vacation. So I'll be taking it easier. So we will not be doing any uh, Q&As until um, August will be our first one. So we'll be doing uh, a live energy read and a Q&A opportunity so you guys can come in with questions. Uh, and we will all meet and do that. So we're going to be doing those quite regularly once a month for uh, subscribers on uh, Substack. So I would love to meet with you, hear with you, um, hear with you, hear from you, or hear with you. We could all hear together. Uh, so lots coming up over there. So you can go ahead and just check it out. All that stuff is there. Any of this information will be in the show notes. Um, I have pre-recorded some great episodes. We're doing a three-part series in July. I'm so excited for you to hear. Um, it is all about, it's called It's Yours. Uh, it's all about overcoming. It's the business of leveling up and overcoming self-sabotage. So the three-part series called It's Yours, all about the business of leveling up and overcoming self-sabotage. Uh, and it's meant to be listened to in three parts. You can listen to it out of order. There's a lot of really meaty um extras that are on the Substack that go along with that as well. Um, as you guys know, if you were fans and following along with the Misfit Light, which is kind of more of my, um, almost a place of like sermons in a sense, and we were doing them in three, four part series, et cetera. This is kind of that offering. So I really encourage you to stick around to check that out. Please enjoy yourself. It is just a really beautiful, beautiful, sweet time right now, despite any of the turbulence you may be feeling. So just give yourself that because you deserve it. All right. All right, guys. I love you a bunch. I really do. I'm glad you're here. Uh, tune out, tune in. Love you, mean it. You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast.